What it do, beautiful people? Your girl, poet, you already know. Just Curious Report. It's Friday. It's National Macaroon Day. I wasn't aware of that. I'm not a fan of macaroons, even though I make a mean cookie. Moving right along. Let's get right into your juice of the day. First off, let's start about, okay. Waka Flocka's engaged. And how did he announce it? On Twitter, of course, and Instagram, because that's what people do. It's the engagement that everybody is, like, side-eyeing. Him and his fiance Tammy, got each other's names, like, big, big, Big tattoo letters on their ring fingers. I say if it works for you, then it works for you. Speaking of other engaged people, Amber Rose is saying that she has now found a non whore like wedding dress and Wiz Khalifa is ready to make it legal. Speaking of him, he hooked up with uh, Fatty Fit, Fitty Fats. He's going to make a luxury headwear line, which I think is a fancy way of saying there's some nice designer hats or something. Why can't we just say designer hats? Why they got to be luxury head pieces? Moving on, speaking of head pieces. Hey, Carrie Rhodes, Hollywood, you're gay assistant has now released a video of y'all cuddling in bed and you talking about y'all waking up and doing things i'm not mad i'm not gonna drag you out the closet i said that before i just said life is a lot better when you can be you freely hey danny williams 27 year old dude believes that bill clinton is his father and that he's the product of a hookup between his mother bobby who used to be an ex-prostitute makes perfect sense he'd also like billy boy to meet his five kids ages 10 to four months Ooh. Danny was getting it in and just wants to be recognized. I say go on, Maury, and then all speculation. Oh, and he said he can't wait to meet Chelsea. He's always wanted a sister. I cannot with that right there. Okay, so shout out to Rihanna. Unapologetic has gone platinum. And, of course, she took to Twitter to rub it in the faces of everybody from Sierra to Beyonce. You want to be mad at Rihanna, but you can't be mad because it's just simply she's speaking her mind. And she has every right to. Um, don't forget, starting Monday, you will be able to catch a recap and past Just Curious Reports at HipHopMatrixShow.com. You can catch them on Power 104.7 in Baltimore. Download the TuneIn app every Saturday, 2 to 5. It's going to be a uh, good look, and you might hear me every once in a while. So Will Smith is in trouble because people are saying in this movie, After Earth, he's pushing this whole Scientology agenda because a lot of the things that go on in the movie I won't spill and spoil, but it matches, I guess, the beliefs of Scientology. Who cares? Plenty of things influence things, and as long as it's a good movie... I really don't care one way or the other. Wale, love the fact that you have a bad remix with Rihanna. And he's come clean about the whole situation where people said that he basically gave her the business, the pipe, all of that. He said nope and he was mad because he's like, her. He, she is his homegirl and he didn't want that relationship ruined. I say it sound like just maybe y'all hooked up anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about Beyonce. How you doing? So you posted these pictures of you and Jay-Z drinking wine and everybody's like, oh, she's not pregnant, she's not pregnant. Child, please. Everybody know a pregnant woman can drink a glass of wine. It's healthy. I'm just saying what I heard on <laughs> the internet. Don't be mad at me. Lisa Ray, Stacey Dash, and Lynn Whitfiller in a new movie called Lap Dance. It's not very often that you find me speechless, but there you go. I know... Who knew that Kirk Franklin, his whole porn addiction and his being promiscuous, all started from him, I guess, finding out of seeing that his uh, young sister was raped at age 8. And he said he carried that with him all his life. I'm not going to say anything other than it sucks to go through things when you're younger. And I'm glad that Kirk Franklin found a way out of that. Hey, I heard that <laughs> Kanye is not going to have any album art or any album booklets for his Yeezus album, and that he's re-recording the whole damn thing because apparently none of us like new slaves or a black skinhead. I didn't. Kanye, I need some of that college dropout material. I'm not sure where your mind is, not sure what you're going through, but I need for you to, I need to do what you did to Taylor Swift. Kanye, I know you got some music that you want to put out and everything, but stop. I need for you to put out the things that we know and understand because what you've been doing recently, we cannot get with. Anything else I want to tell you before I go? Where's Khalifa? Beyonce's new album dropping in November. That's on the QT and the Hush Hush. I heard that from a spy friend of mine who does hair for her cousin's baby mother's uncle aunt. So I don't want nobody to know that they be snitching on their business. But a new Beyonce album, I could get with that. Ooh, Kendu Isaacs. Why is your daughter Brianna on Twitter talking about she's pregnant, she's homeless, and she's thinking of killing herself? Why are people still whispering that you're the reason why Mary J. Blige is, well, millions in tax debt, and you fired her family and her sister and all of them to get your people in there, and you basically using her? And who knew that the illest rumor was that you were married when you seduced, oh, MJB? Boy, I tell you, the things I find out eavesdropping while I'm trying on clothes in Macy's. I love my life so much, so much, so much. So, um, that's it. Everybody have a good weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which means 
do it all. Um, shout out to Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj who officially left American Idol, but I'm sorry, I told you that a month ago. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to laugh at that. I'm your girl, Poet Find Me, PoetTaylor.com, Poet Chain's Instagram, Overly Poet on Twitter, Poet Taylor on Facebook, that was a mouthful, and remember, Hip Hop Matrix Show, Hip Hop Matrix Show.com. If you are just experiencing the Just Curious Report for the first time, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back. I'm out. It's Friday, bitches, and I just got paid.